There are a few things we need to do before we can run the project in Factory Talk View SE. The first thing is to create a data server so that we can communicate with our controller. For this demo, we are using a ControlLogix L63 controller. So we will be using RS Links Enterprise as our data server. This provides optimized communications with all products in the Logix 5000 controller family. If you're using SLC 500 or PLC 5 controllers, you'll need to use RS Links Classic. In that case, you would create an OPC data server, which can be used to talk to third party OPC data servers or to RS Links Classic. As I mentioned earlier, it's a recommended best practice to use areas to contain servers in a network scoped Factory Talk View SE application. Doing this will isolate the servers from one another and also optimize the data update time on displays. If you're interested, Knowledge Base Aid 29663 goes into more detail about this. So we will first create another area in our application called Data Links Enterprise. Now to create our RS Links Enterprise data server, we right-click on the Data Links Enterprise area and select Add New Server. Then Rockwell Automation Device Server, RS Links Enterprise. Now we will open the Alarms and Events tab. Check the Enable Alarm and Event Support box to enable Factory Talk Alarms and Events features for this data server. Uncheck the Enable History box. For this demo, we won't enable historical logging of Factory Talk alarms and events. We'll talk more about Factory Talk alarms and events in a minute. Click OK to create the RS Links Enterprise Data Server in our new area. Now that we added the RS Links Enterprise Data Server, we can configure communications to the Logix controller we're using in this demo. Expand the Data Links Enterprise Area folder and open Communication Setup. This is where you'd configure a shortcut to the controller. Click the Add button to create a new device shortcut. We'll set the name as Shortcut. In the Device window, we'll select the Logix controller our project is using. We want to enable Factory Talk alarms and events in this controller, so change the Enable setting from No to Yes. Click Apply to associate the selected controller and path to our shortcut. Click OK to close and save the new shortcut.